Good morning. This is White Raptor News Ministries. All praise and glory to the Supreme Spirit of Truth, the Living One, the author of life, the one that moves all things in place, the Supreme Being, the perpetual, always in motion, the Almighty, the all you can see, the all you cannot see, the One. There is none like the point of singularity a supreme creator. Today we're going to be going over a lot of 666s. Give me one second. So you guys know that I listen to a channel, Brother Sanchez, and I, I give Brother Sanchez a lot of time. I watch a lot of his content. Um, I'm nowhere close to the amount of hours that I watch with Brother Rap the News, our belated priest, all praise and glory to the Supreme Spirit. You know, blessings to my brother, blessings to the brothers in arms in this battle of wits and what this Bible is saying to us. Brother Sanchez had, um, what I would say, um, a debate last night with Captain Tazayarak, and um, this is the title of it. I watched most, I watched the whole show. It was probably about an hour and six minutes of debate. And then Brother Sanchez had an open mic on his show. And that's what I like about the community there at Brother Sanchez is we all get to respond and, you know, share our thoughts about what was said. But I'm looking at this video here and I just want you guys to take a look. All right. And I don't, this guy might strike me, so I have two strikes, so I got to be real careful about how I play this. If this comes across his channel, I'm sure that, listen, I am a supporter of the Supreme Spirit, okay? If you look at this, this is a six-pointed star on his chest, okay? And you know, guys know that what I teach at this channel is always about 666, Personally, myself, these don't look like men of God to me. These look like thugs on the streets. And I think that the music here would prove my point. Because these don't sound like men of God who are rapping out this kind of stuff. Right, what's that, boy? Look at that big-ass nigga. Look at what's he got there in his hand, in his belt line. He's got a gun. And these people are... Um, Servants of the Most High, so they tell you. Right there, I gotta. I'm gonna have to go forward. It. It just seems to me. Yeah, so, anyways, that's my point. On me here. They just look like street thugs to me. These don't look like servants of the Most High. Um, is that their fringe? I mean, hell, I used to wear jackets like that, too. I guess I unknowingly wore fringe. My point here, folks, is... I've been studying the Bible for a long time, and I I personally myself don't know everything about the Bible because it is a great deal of metaphors, okay? The Bible is a great deal of what I would say riddles, and the Bible tells us plainly it is a book of riddles, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 Bible Hub. By understanding the Proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. So the Bible is a book of riddles that was written of the wise. The fear of the Lord, the Lord here is Yahweh, the proper name of look, God of Israel. So I need everybody to understand when I teach this Bible that I'm talking about 
um, codexes in the Bible. I'm sharing with you uh, key sentences that are all in the Bible. Lord is God of Israel. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. Those in the providence of Jerusalem today call him Jehovah. Okay? So, there's no way around this being God of Israel. Sorry, here, God of Israel comes to 666. So, I have to say to anybody, any Israelite that even reads one scripture from the New Testament then they have to apply the entire book. Now, there are instructors and teachers of the Bible that's, that don't read out of the New Testament at all. This guy here doesn't. Right here, slapping you with the truth, too. He reads solely from the Torah. He doesn't touch the New Testament because he says that the New Testament is not Israel's book. Now me, I'm uh, I read from both books because we're told that you got to read the totality of the Bible. Well, the New Testament now has been grafted into the Bible. The New Testament does have valuable information in it, which has to be deciphered, and that's what I'm trying to do during this search, during this truth search. Is I'm searching for the truth. So. God of Israel, Yahweh, comes to 666. And then you have skull and bones number right here. In the Hebrew gematria, comes to 322. 111 in the Strong's Concordance means to, to walk contrary to law and justice. Prohibited by law, it is illicit and criminal. Those are not what I would say pleasant numbers for the God of Israel. And just pointing that out. What you do with the information is on you. I'm just showing you information. You know, you can hate me for it. I could care less. All right. I spend enough time. I spend I spend too much time into this Bible. I spend too much time. In this Gematria app today. I I type in. I type in. And I type in. And all these phrases. Such as. Who holds the key. Holding a key. Jesus is the one that holds the key to death in Hades. Right? Jesus here is holding a key. And that is 666. So we're going to be going through a great deal of 666 today, but we're also going to be reading from 1 Samuel uh, 6, chapter 6, and the ark is returned to Israel. Okay, when the ark of the Lord had been in the Philistine territory seven months, the Philistines called for the priest and the diviners and said, by the way, diviner here, diviners, that comes to 666, the priest called for the diviners and said, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? This is Yahweh again. Yahweh is God of Israel. God of Israel is 666. 666 is all up in this Bible. The more I read this Bible and I punch in these words and stuff, it, it's just amazing to me today. I love the scriptures. I love reading the scriptures. I love the train that I'm on. I'm, it's like I'm on a train of my own heading in one direction. And I don't care who gets on the train with me. If you want to jump on my train, you're more than welcome. If you don't want to jump on my train, you know, lead your life. Do it, do what you feel is right for you. But salvation is, sounds very pleasing to me. Living in the life of the living, it sounds much better than being the living of the dead. And the living of the dead are the Gentile nations that were created on the sixth day of creation. The dead are the United Nations, the rulers, the principalities. Remember, folks, I, things come to me and they click, all right? And what clicked on me last night is Ephesians chapter 6, number 12. I've said it a dozen times, but, but I never came 
with such clarity that was hit with me last night. And the clarity that came to me says, it is not about the flesh and blood. So if you remove the flesh and blood, then the color of a man's skin has nothing to do with shit. It's straight up about good and evil. And the people that are good and evil are those principalities that are in office. That's what this parable is telling us. Stop worrying about the color of a person's skin because that is division. Understand that in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33, 1, says the Assyrian is a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and a shadowing shroud. Here, let's just pull it up. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. May be wrong there. Give me one second. Sorry about that. It's uh, 31, 3, Ezekiel. Look at the Assyrian. We're going to pop over here to King James. Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon. Behold, Satan was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Satan, that's what this is saying. Satan was the cedar. A cedar is a tree. A cedar in Lebanon with fair branches. Fair branches in this parable, folks, means light skin. So Satan had light skin. And with the shadowing shroud. What's the shadowing shroud? Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 Bible Hub. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, Bible Hub. The shadowing shroud, folks, is our skin suit. Okay? We have been shaded to shade. So, the flesh is dead. The flesh is a phantom. The flesh is a ghost. The flesh is an illusion. The flesh is an idol. A shadowing shroud is the skin suit that we wear. Our, our soul, our light, our essence has been captured in a flesh suit. And of high stature. Why is the Assyrian held in high stature? Because you all worship the creation more than the creator. Romans one twenty five says they exchange the truth of God. This here is a magistrate. Okay. Anything that is a magistrate is not the supreme creator. It's a supreme divinity. I need people to understand that we are all the gods. Every one of us, both good and evil, whatever way you choose to walk, it's your choice. You have free will. If you want to go out and rape little kids, if you want to beat your children's asses, if you want to go into other countries and murder people, if you want to be a pedophile priest, that's all on you. This plane of existence is duality. It's your choice to choose what you want to do. If you want to walk aligned with the Supreme Spirit, then you walk aligned with the Supreme Spirit. If you want to walk al aligned with the Supreme Divinity, then you're walking in darkness. Anything that is a divinity of the Supreme Spirit is of darkness. It's a magistrate. And again, what do we look at here? Magistrate. Give me one second. And magistrates are a magister or a magistra, and they are a fourth degree to the dark side. I've showed this to you before. What is a registered member? A registered member has no degrees, but you are what the registered member means, a registered member to vote. An active member who votes is a Satanist. All of you that go to the polls and you vote for these demons, you are a first degree Mason. You don't even know it. The third degree is a witch or a warlock. And what does it say about witches and warlocks? Right here, Revelations 21.8 tells us, But the cowardly and unbelieving and the abominable and murders and sexually immoral and sorcerers. So what is a sorcerer? Here, let me show you. I know you know what it means. I'm not trying to... to condemn anybody for lack of knowledge. I'm just breaking it all down for you. Also, let me finish it in idolaters at all. Folks, what you got to understand 
is the God that created mankind on the sixth day of creation are all idol worshipers. The United Nations are idols. They are all liars and their place will be the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. This is the second death. The second death, because when you're born into this plane of existence, you're born into death. When you exhale your last breath, that is the second death. You So your witches and your warlocks are second degree masons. Okay? Your priests and pre pre priestess are third degree masons. And what did I show you? A priest in simple gematria comes to 87. 8 plus 7 is 15 and 1 plus 5 is 6. I know you guys are saying, well, you're kind of reaching there. Well, I started this. That's how I started out on this stuff a long time ago. Pastor, priest, bishop, pastor comes to 42 or, or, or excuse me, deacon comes to 42. Uh, bishop comes to 69. You break them all down to a single digit. They all come to a six. Then you have your magistras and your magisters. Those are your magistrates. Those are that's God, right? That's the God that I showed you right here. They exchange the truth of God, which is a magistrate, which is magister, depending on uh, what country you live in. So these gods here, this God here in the New Testament are fourth degree masons. They're supreme divinities. And it's put right on the back of your dollar bill, folks. In God we trust. That's their God. Their God is mammon. The monetary system is mammon. Monetary money is 666. Ah, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at busting this stuff down today. So in Ezekiel, his branches, he with beautiful branches, his light skin that shaded the forest. With fine branches, with fair branches, and with a shadowing shroud. The shadowing shroud, I told you, Genesis 127 here in an image, is to shade, all right, which is an illusion, Woo-wee. let's get busy, let's get busy, let's break this down, an illusion is 666, the illusion is created from mankind, Mankind comes to 66. Mankind created on the sixth day of creation. That is 666. These are the beasts of the field. Each according to their kind. God made the beast of the earth according to their kinds. The livestock. Huh, let's just go ahead for shits and giggles. I don't... I. Yeah, beast of earth. See, I like it to be a true sentence. Doesn't reach it. Would have kind of liked that one. I like finding 666 today. So, they exchanged the, the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator. So the creature is creation. And the creator says that you're not to worship anything that moves upon the face of the earth, who is forever worthy of praise, a spirit. Okay, when you use the word amen, I know in Hebrew means divine. Uh, it means properly firm, trustworthy, adverbally surely okay but uh in greek when you do the etymology for the word amen it comes to amen ra what watch okay i don't know if you guys know who amen ra is amen ra is the sun god okay lord amen ra comes to 666 
back to the chapter. What shall we do with the Ark of the Lord, Yahweh? That's how we jumped into the Gematria because I read the Bible and every time I see something like God of Israel, these catchphrases, I type them in and anything that equates to 666 to me does not have the glory of the Supreme Creator, but it is something that is used. Sorry, can't change what it is I'm sharing with you. I can't change the direction of this ch this train that I'm on. They answered, "If you return the ark of the God of the God of Israel, do not send it back to him without a gift, a, a gift." So now you know that a gift. Do you really believe that the supreme spirit, the spirit, folks, which you can't see, the one behind the veil? needs a gift from mankind. The only gift that the Supreme Spirit requires is for you to turn to him with a contrite heart, realize that you are a fallen angel, you are a broken fragment of the Supreme Spirit. You are a peace. You are a God, just like Jesus said. We are all gods. Everyone on the face of this earth are gods. This is why in Ephesians 6.12, it says that it's not about the flesh and blood, it's about the rulers. The rulers have placed them in high positions as gods to rule over you. They don't want you to understand or know that you are a god within your own right. You are a fragment of the Supreme Spirit. Anything that is of the Supreme Spirit is an infinite peace. It doesn't matter how small you are, you are a spiritual being. That means that you are an infinite being. So you are an infinite being that is going to be with the Supreme Spirit, or you are an infinite being that is going to be trapped and chained to this plane of existence for eternity. There's only one way to escape this plane of existence, folks. That's with the contrite heart and to repent to the spirit of truth. To give a gift by all means, send a guilt offering to him. Then you will be healed and you will know why his hand has not been lifted from you. The Philistines asked, what guilt offering should we send to him? Him. You know, in the Bible, it says that God is not a man. Here you are equating God to a him. Over there at Big Judah's channel, he teaches that God is a female. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that God is not a female. Now, I'm not jumping on board with that. But he teaches if you don't give praise to the feminine side of the creator, then you'll burn in hell as well. Everybody's The reason why I don't listen to Big Judah too often is because he wears those stones. Big Judah teaches that if there's bad magic and evil magic, then there has to be good magic. So he says that it's all right to practice good magic. Any kind of magic that you practice, folks, is sorcery. It's witchcraft. And witchcraft, my folks, comes as 666 because it's something that is performed by flesh. Whew. Woo. I'm on fire, man. Woo. Woo. I am literally on fire. I'm burning up, man. I'm telling you. You know, I don't know what kind of spirit I have on me, but it's definitely a spirit to decipher 666 for you people. They replied, five gold tumors and five gold rats, according to the number of the Philistine rulers, because the same plague has struck both you and your rulers. Make models of the tumors and of the rats that are destroying the country and give glory to Israel's God, lowercase God, Israel's God, uh, God of Israel, that S, my, Israel's God, that might even... That might even reach 666. Close. Woo, real close. Perhaps he will lift his hand from you and your gods and your land. 
Why do you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh did? When Israel's God dealt harshly with them, did they not send the Israelites out so that they could go on their way? Now then, get a new cart ready with two cows that have calved and have never been yoked. Hitch the cows to the cart, but take their calves away and pin them up. Take the ark of the Lord and put it on the cart, and in the chest beside it put the gold objects you are sending back to him as a guilt offering. Send it on its way, but keep watching it. If it goes up to its own territory towards Beth Shemesh, then the Lord has brought this great disaster on us. But if it does not, then he will know that it was not his hand that struck us, but that it has happened to us by chance. Nothing happens by chance on this plane of existence. This is this was, you know, oh, two birds flew by in the sky. That means that the, the, the Lord of the hand is going to strike us down. Oh, one bird flew by, which means the Lord of the hand is with us. It, this is silliness. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were harvesting their wheat in the valley, and when they looked up and saw the ark, they rejoiced at the sight. The cart came to the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh, and there it stopped beside a large rock. The people chopped up the wood of the cart and sacrificed the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666. The Levites took down the Ark of the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666, together with the chest containing gold objects, and placed them on the large rock. On that day, the people of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and made sacrifices to the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666. The five rulers of the Philistines saw all this and then returned that same day to Ekron. These are the gold tumors the Philistines set as a guilt offering to the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666. One each for Ashdod, Gaza, Ashkelon, Gath, and Akron. And the number of the gold rat was according to the number of Philistine towns belonging to the five rulers. Five rulers. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just drop that one in there for, for a minute. Nope. Didn't get to that one. The fortified towns with their country village, the large rock on which the Levites set the ark of the Lord is a witness to the day in the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh. But God struck down some of the inhabitants of Beth Shemesh, putting 70 of them to death because they looked into the ark of the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666. The people mourned because of the heavy blow the Lord had dealt them. And the people of Beth Shemesh asked, Who can stand in the presence of the Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666, the Holy God, Elohim, who tells you, this Lord, Yahweh, tells you plainly that he is both good and evil. Well, he tells you that he created evil. He makes evil. Uh, I talked with a friend of mine, um, gravy train and you know she's she's she loves me man she she cares about my lessons in the way that that i'm teaching and sometimes she hears things that she doesn't agree with in my channel and she'll give me a call and she'll say hey you got to be real cautious the way that you're talking about the god of israel well um i i plainly worship the spirit and um Yahweh is a man of war, which um, this channel here, where are you at? Give me one second here. Right here. 
Captain Tarzarak obliterates Brother Sanchez. So I watched the whole stream last night. My deal is, is these are rappers and they're all, you know, they're acting like thugs. They carry the, the cross, this cross or this star is a six pointed star. You got a guy rapping with the Uzi between his legs and they're, they're all got their gold and their bling on. And, you know, to me, this doesn't seem, look at the nails there, look what they're hanging out with. And these people call themselves Israelites. You know, they're no better than people in the rap industry, right? And if these people heard me talking about this, this guy would probably pull a Zuzi out and put a bullet in my head. So I'd have to be wearing the spirit of truth, this, the almighty spirit of truth. Elohim, to whom will the ark go up from here? Then they sent messengers to the people of Kiriath, Jerem, saying, The Philistines have returned the ark of the Lord. Come down and take it up to your town. So then Israel again is going to lose the ark, and then they're going to get the ark, and then they lose the ark, and they get the ark, and it's like a repetitive thing that goes back and forth. Well, I keep telling people that the ark is a metaphor for the brain. The arc is what fires the neurons between the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. That creates an arc, a neuron arc, an electrical spark that takes place in our minds, in our brains. The brain is flesh. The mind is spirit. The brain has been hijacked by technology because it plainly tells us in 2 Corinthians 2.11, we're not unaware of Satan and his schemes. Let's see... 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, Bible Hub. In order that Satan should not outwit us, for we're not ignorant of his devices. His devices are things like this here. Images of CERN. These, this is a time traveling machine. You know, the History Channel tells you that this is a time-traveling machine. They're putting it right in front of your face. This machine is what Jesus is coming out of. I'm not jacking you guys around, man. I've been studying this stuff long enough. Oh, yeah, and let's let me finish, close out here. So, Magistrate is a fourth degree, and a MAGA, Make America Great Again, is a magus, and magus is a magician, it's a magi. Dictionary.com A magus is a sorcerer. 21.8 says that all people who practice sorcery, their part will be the lake of fire, okay? It doesn't matter whether it's good sorcery. It doesn't matter whether it's bad sorcery. A magus is a magi, and this is why you have the word M-A-G-I in magistrate, because they are magic men. They are magicians who've pulled the wool over your eyes. They are seers, wizards, and sages. Nobody's going to break this stuff down for you the way that I'm doing it. Give me one second here. Off beat real quick last night. I I left a comment um, on this um, section in this video. They're talking about Trump again, uh, or excuse me, the uh, the shooting of Sonia Massey. And I made a comment that it, now, not to be disrespectful, if this woman Sonia Massey was executed the way she was, may the spirit of the creator beyond her, though 
I would say more than likely it, it's not. Listen, what have we been taught from Christianity? We're taught from Christianity that if you use Jesus Christ's name and you rebuke demons in Jesus Christ's name, that demons will flee from you. I'm trying to teach all of you by scriptures and pictures and videos that Jesus Christ himself is the devil. And you can't rebuke shit in that weak God's name because that lady rebuked them cops in Jesus Christ's name and all it did was get her killed. So I wrote a comment last night in the section on this video saying, you know, unless, because everything's blurred out, right? They show you the woman standing in the kitchen, then they show her bending down, then they show her uh, uh, that she takes the pot of water off of the stove. Why? All she had to do was turn the stove off and 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 move the uh, the pot of water to another burner. There was no reason at all for her to pick up the water. This is why I feel it was staged, and that's what I wrote. I wrote that this killing. Okay, just because you're black, believe me, folks, there's a lot of black people that are tied up into this witchcraft. These are There's a lot of people that, that this is a secret society and stuff. And nobody saw that woman get shot. Nobody saw blood spilling from her body. Why? Because it was all, it was all blurred out. Now, do I know for a fact that it was blurred out? That it really happened or that it didn't happen? No, I don't. But people in that city... You, the public in that city, you can go to the courthouse, you can file a petition for yourself, and you can get that police footage yourself, their body cam footage yourself. Listen, you're never going to ever find the truth. I showed you the other day, Nixon said, the American people will not believe a thing unless they see it on television first. The TV was the biggest piece of weaponized equipment that was ever created the tv is a device okay you are not unaware of satan and his devices okay so after they took my comment down it pissed me off because all i said is that donald trump said on fox news which happens to be 666 that all news is fake news and unless i can see the actual footage of the woman bleeding out and the blood pouring all over the floor to me it's all fake news that was the comment i left and they blocked it so then i wrote him another one there you go again, you fucking idiots at YouTube, blocking my comments again. You just can't stand to hear the truth. God is going to gut everyone that blocks my comments. Let me wield the axe to your head. You will never stop me from saying what I want to say. You can't control me, you parasites. So stop thinking you can. I'm going to crush your asses in life after. Now, that normally gets me cut down for uh, at least a 24-hour period. They, they shut me down the other day for 24 hours because I simply said the masterpiece of shit. Because they were saying that Donald Trump is such a masterpiece. He's so wonderful. He's so great. And I said, yeah, a masterpiece of shit. And they blocked me for 24 hours on that comment. So you have to start paying attention to these degrees. Because Trump is a fifth degree. He is a MAGA. He's a magus. He's a magistrate. It's right there in front of your face. I got it all down. You can't vote for these people. I'm telling you, they have demons on them. And once you vote one of these demons into office, the demon that is on them now has power over you. That's why they stand in these crowds, because you guys are given power to mankind to rule over you when you're the one with the power to have over them. Because they are of darkness. They are of evil. You have to stop voting, people. You have to. You must stop voting. Showed you this the other day. Here it is. This is Jesus who's defeated death because we're not unaware of Satan and his devices. This shows Jesus coming out of a CERN machine. Egyptian the Egyptology, the Egyptians, the Pharaoh, they learned way back in the day how to defeat death. They defeated death through technology. 
This is why technology gets, makes the blind see, makes the deaf hear, raises the dead. They've probably already raised the dead. This is not new technology that we have today, folks. It's old technology that's been invented. And take a close look. That is a black man. These are black people. All right? Black. Not, not a white Jesus. That is not a white Jesus. That is a black Jesus. And that's a black Jesus coming out of the CERN machine. Let's see. That's what Jesus is coming out of. It's right in your face. And people aren't putting this together. And then people call me a fool. They call me a sorcerer. They call me a liar. And all I'm doing is showing you scriptures and tying all of this in to the 666 system. One that I think that's important for you to understand. Nin her sig. Is it sag? Yes, who's this? This is Inky's wife. One second. Ninersag, also known as Ninersaga, was a Samaritan mother goddess and a key deity in the ancient Mesopotamian pantheon. She was associated with the creation of humanity, fertility, pregnancy, and childbirth, and was known as the mother of gods and the mother of men. So the story is with these two is um, the gods, the ancient gods had been creating clones, let's say, all right? And to create these clones was uh, expensive. Even back then, you would say that it was very costly to create a man and then create another man and create another man. Well, what they needed to do is they needed to create somehow where us, how they tried to, how they've enslaved us, because that's what they've done. They've made us slaves. You understand? The ancient ancestors said, hey, you can have a flesh suit. This is the battle that's taking place. Satan's the one that's, that's saying you can have a flesh suit. God, the devil, is the one who said you can have a flesh suit. God the devil said that we could have a flesh suit, and that is 666, okay? Also, let me throw it out there for you, too. People like to read the Sanskrits, and Sanskrit is uh, the, um, the Hindu, one of the Hindu gods. I'm showing you guys that all the gods that I've been typing in God's names in, in this gematria calculation uh, I, I, I got to show, show, show you because I want you guys on board with what I'm saying. Okay. So I don't want to lead anyone astray. So if you don't want to listen to me, also know that calculation comes to 666. So I'm using a calculator and I'm calculating and I'm using calculations and calculations are 666. I just wanted to put that out there for you too because I want you to have your own choice. You make up your own mind. I bring you the content and then you decide whether what I'm teaching you is valid or not. Creator God. Look at that. The Creator God. Um, did I spell it wrong? Um, what is it? What am I trying to create? Creation God. Creation God. Uh, I've been this. This is really deep stuff when you start thinking about it, folks. So now we got a creation God that's six six six. That's kind of scary, isn't it? Well, that that would say that the Creator on that particular note is is an evil God. The creation God is six six six. We're calculating the number of the beast. We got to put all these things in. And what is Jesus? He's the beginning, right? Jesus is the beginning and the end. Well, if we were to uh, say the beginning, how could we phrase it in a different manner? 
the start, right? The start of life, 666. Now, we also know that what's important to understand is uh, the Democratic Democrat um, media. Democrat media. Let's see, Democrat. I don't think that N belongs there. Democrat media, all right, is 666, all right? And who who's the Democratic Party, man, right? The president that is, that's uh, Joe Biden, right? Beast. Joe Biden, a beast, 666. All right, so now you have the Sanskrits, the creation god, Lord Amun Ra, uh, the start, Ninhusag, which is a deity goddess for the old Samaritans, I just told you, calculation, the Democrat media. Um, let's see, um, how about the LBGTQ? What about that one? Trannies, huh? Trannies. 666 Trannies is 666 folks Let's see Um God the devil So I spend a lot of time typing in these sayings what is what is a power tie? What is the color of a power tie? It's red, right? Red tie. Doesn't Donald Trump always wear red ties? Red tie Donald. 666. Joe Biden. 666. A president. A president. Meaning any president that is in office at the time. 666. Okay, I crush this parable here. Horrifying thought too is that uh, Black Panthers, Black Panther is the 666. Okay, and also another big one here. Is the Book of the Dead, 666. Book of the Dead is a modern term for a collection of magical spells that the Egyptians used to help them get into the afterlife. Oh my God. I got to go to brother. I got to get me one of those sound bit computers too that I can press and say, oh my God. Right? How about, um, what is the most valuable thing that they call out on this plane of existence here? Gold, right? Trading gold, 666. Huh? Anybody, anybody touch this? Anybody else know this stuff? How about this? When I hit trannies, how about this? Butt sex. Huh? Placing anything inside the backside of another person's rear end. 666. And uh, go ahead and I'll hit you here. Revelations chapter 13 verse 18. Bible Hub. Thirteen. Well, why would it give me Galatians? Thirteen. Oh, Revelations chapter 13, verse 18, Bible Hub. Here is a call for wisdom. Let the one with insight calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and the number is 666. Also, 616 is a translation from, I believe, the Egyptian number. But another important one that I'd like to point out here is the unseen. 
The unseen is 666. Why is this important? First Colossians 115 Bible Hub. The sun is the image of the invisible God. That's why, because invisible means unseen. Invisible. It means it cannot be seen. Un, un, the unseen is 666. And that goes back to the man that was created on the sixth day of creation, which is 666. All praise and glory to the supreme spirit of truth, the living one. Um, trying to think of another one. Um, see, um, get to my notes here. Oh, let's see. Oh, remember, I'm always telling you guys that our, our language is a split tongue language, right? So to slaughter is 666. And the Bible speaks about slaughter quite often. Slaughter the animals. Go in and slaughter the Gentile. And the Gentile has slaughtered Israel. And we've been in this continuous battle from what this Bible has said. But how did I start this lesson off? I started the lesson off by telling you that it's not about the flesh and blood. So Satan is the one that made it about the flesh and blood. Satan is the one that made it about the color of one's skin. It's not about the color of our skin, folks. It is about two races. One race was created to be taken and destroyed. Second Peter 2.12 Bible Hub. Let's go over here to the King James Bible. But these, as natural brute beasts, natural is the flesh, folks. Natural is supernatural. So the natural brute beasts were made to be taken and destroyed. So they were created to be destroyed. Okay? They speak evil of things they understand not, which is God. The Gentiles speak evil of what they understand not. Egyptians speak evil of what they understand not. And all of them, all shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So, I mean, I'm deep into this fight, folks. I'm here to bring information to you. Over here, Jeremiah 12, 3. But you know me, O Lord, Yahweh, God of Israel, 666. You see me and test my heart towards you. Drag away the wicked like sheep to the slaughter and set them apart from the day of carnage. So you have the word laughter in the word slaughter. You have the word gory in the word glory. You have the word sin in the word sincere. You have the word eat in the word create. So we have a split tongue language. Images of NASA's emblem. Ooh wee, my stomach is growling. There you go, a victor. That's a split tongue language. You never get a straight answer. Never a straight answer. NASA will never give you a straight answer. Ever. Okay, looking at some notes here to see if I have any more. Oh, let's see. Oh, well, this was disappointing for me as well when I read when I when I come across this one here as well. This was really disappointing. Nikola Tesla, the master of electricity, who knew electricity. Nikola Tesla was a thousand years ahead of his time. Or Nikola Tesla came through the CERN machine. Some, uh, uh, you see, Satan has to share the truth with us. Well, how's he doing that? He's doing it through music industry and Hollywood. A magic man, folks. The truth has been revealed to you. I would suggest if you really want salvation, you know, and you want to be a part of the Supreme Spirit, you want to yield yourself back to the Supreme Spirit, then you do, you do just that. Okay, we are broken fragments. 
We are a bunch of broken shell pieces like Humpty Dumpty who sat on the wall, who had the great fall. But all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. We cannot be put together again by anybody that is mankind on the face of this earth, folks. Mankind is 666. Mankind are the beast. Mankind are the evil. And they come in all colors. Both black and white, Asian, slanted eyes, whatever you want to call it, all of us are the seed of Satan. This is White Raptor News Ministries.